Hi guys, it's Woody at Honey Brothers here, here for another Woody's Roundup. Um, today I'm going to be looking at some new products from Notch. Um, and here we have the two brand new Notch Cinch chainsaw lanyards. Um, now these are a really, um, you know, another bungee chainsaw lanyard, I hear you, hear you cry, but a little bit different than these ones. So they're available in two sizes. We've got the 17 mil, which is the lighter weight version. Um, so this one's got a 15 kilo load rating, so perfect for your smaller top handle saws and your top handle saws. And then you've got the bigger 25 mil, which is rated up to 25 kilos for your bigger saws. <coughs> um, so fully serialized and um, obviously load rating on them. So to comply with loader regs, um, and there is quite an ingenious thing about these. There's actually two ways to attach these to a saw. On this end here, you've got the traditional sort of offset eye here that you can obviously put through the eye of the back of a top handle and then lark's foot it, choke it off on, on itself. And then you've got the ring to rack it. Or this end here has just got a small eye with a ring on it. Now this is designed for the wire loop on the back of a top handle saw um, and it goes a little something like this. So if you take the, the little eye here and just poke it up through the eyelet on the back of the saw and then simply drop that into the ring like so and then take a carabiner, any carabiner will do and then literally pop that through like that and what I'll do is spin that around like that and there you go, that's your attachment point. Now the benefit of this is obviously you've got this carabiner here so that's your racking carabiner so that'll go onto your tool clip, your vault, your pencil carry tool, whatever you've got. Um, but the main benefit of this is, if anyone who's ever used one of these before has ever choked an end of this onto the, the ring on there, you'll know that after a few days, weeks, months, years, it gets extremely tight and very, very hard to remove. So if you ever want to remove it, you know, you have to either get a screwdriver in there to try and prise it open. And even some extreme cases, because it gets so tight and these are so thin diameter, it can even start to wear away at the webbing. So, and as you'll see in a minute, effortless to remove. So, so yeah, these are out now. Um, check them out on our website. Um, yeah, have a look, see what you think, and uh, that's it for today. Stay safe, guys. Take care.